notes and your notif girl. Hi y'all. Let me get this stuff situated so it's not in the way. Ooh, there's a bee in here. Let me get this pulled up. Let me get this stuff situated. It's not. There we go. Hey TJ. <laughs> I think it's ridiculous watching myself, um, but I kind of have to do it that way so I can see what's going on. Um, where are my, I want to see the daggum, there we go. There's the live chat. Hey Robin, how are you? Thank you for coming over. So, um, I was really glad to come on, uh, after high love because I um I got all my stuff situated over here and I've got staples in all of my staplers. My glue guns are on and ready to go. <laughs> and watching her put some stuff around the mum head actually uh, reminded me of some things that um, we could use to make bows with. So um and before I forget, Hyla, you were talking about covering cutting out stuff on your cricket and vinyl to cover your backers because you use the recycled chipboard. Girl, use the cheap vinyl from the Dollar Tree. It's not good for a whole lot more than covering stuff up. I have way too much of it over I I'm looking at it over there. I have way too much of it. Use that to cover up your backers. Don't waste your good vinyl. Use that cheap stuff. Don't even put it through the cricket. Anyway, um, this is, if y'all are coming, look, I think everybody here uh, was over at Hyla's. This is what she was talking about, the deco mesh ribbon. Uh, I have lots of that. Girl, yes. <laughs> and I was cleaning up in here yesterday because I recovered my table. Y'all will see it in just a minute. I ruined it during Christmas with a a cordless drill. <laughs> anyway, it looked bad. So I recovered my uh, my craft table and um, I was going through all of the, yeah, you know, I, I buy and drop and I drop it on the floor <laughs> and then every once in a while I'll come in and put everything where it belongs but I was going through all of the, I have lots of that cheap, yes, yes. And I was looking at it yesterday while I was rolling everything up and putting it up where it belongs and I'm like this stuff ain't very good for much of anything except for covering stuff up and I've used it for that before but um, whenever you said that I was like just use that cheap vinyl anyway so we have a store um, in Brenham that is um, King Dollar and this is how they come so you get quite a bit and I had already let me show y'all this right here I'm going to turn you so you can see what we're working with. I had this whole thing cleaned off. Yeah. Well, unscrew it. There we go. <laughs> These are all of, all of the drawers out of one thing. And this is my pack of, of the, uh, the flat deco mesh ribbon. Anyway, I had pulled that out. And I'm like, that's what she was talking about. But I can get this all the time. So I've got it in the silver and the white and um, the black with the silver. And then I think I have green. Um, I buy a lot of neutral stuff, the black, white, and silver. Um, because that will go with my maroon and black and white. For It goes with all the schools that I do. Anyway. There's that. So, I'm going to start with some super simple stuff. And I have drawers. If you, if you saw my, the, my craft room tour after I redid it, I have sets of drawers. Baskets of... Girl. These are my scrap drawers. Whenever I said you treat yours way better. Yeah. So, I have it white, silver, black, green, maroon, and... I think this is another silver. Yep. So before I start um, a mum, this is all my scraps. Before I start a mum, I will come to my scrap 
um, drawers and I'll look through and see what all I've got. Hyla does hers, and I'm going to refer to Hyla a lot, um, Crafty Bug. TJ, can you put her, or Hyla, put your link in there. Um, we just got off of a video of hers, off of a live. Anyway, she does hers completely opposite of me. She starts with her braids and chains and things, and I have to have... Um, I have to have it in my brain how it's going to turn out, sort of, before I get started. So I start out with a, um, a specific ribbon. So, and, and it's, it's the accent ribbon and I use it in the mum head and I use it for bows and things like that. So I will come and I will look, sorry, <laughs> I'm not cleaning, I promise. I will come and look in my scrap bin and see what all I've got in here that I can use for an accent ribbon. And I will start with those pieces. Like I have a couple of pieces right here. Um, I have only have like one of these, so that's not going to work. I have a couple of these. And those are about the only larger ones that I have in here. And I don't have any in here. I think I've used all but just to, like y'all. I keep these pieces. But we're going to use some of these scrap pieces. Even if we only have one or two. And we're going to make some bows with them. Because I don't like wasting anything. And I also don't like looking at this. <laughs> so the first bow we're going to make is a scrap bow. And... I'm going to see what I have that I can use to make it. I'm going to do a black and white one because I have better ones over here. My black and white box. This was the end of a ribbon spool. Uh, whatever works. What do you mean? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. I only have one of these. I have a tail of that. See, I even keep the tails. Sometimes I make and I cut way too many of these. I wonder if we can make... No, that's too little. Y'all, I should have thought this through. I was texting Hyla earlier and I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to be ready to do a live, but you know what? I'm going to do it and we're just going to work through it. I'm going to use this one. Oh, Robin. <laughs> um, this is not sorted, babe. These are all my scraps. <laughs> this is this is chunked. I wanted to use some small pieces, dang it, and I'm going to. Y'all just give me a second. I'm trying to find some that are the same size. And I'll tilt y'all down as soon as I get going on this. You know what? Do I have a couple of these? Nope. I talk to myself a lot too, guys. Just warning you. I have enough of those that we can make something. Take some of these. And if I was in here by myself, I would be doing the same thing. Take some of that. That doesn't match. That matches that, though. All right. Let me move these out of the way, and let me tilt y'all down. I have a lot of stuff on my desk here. Unscrew it, Connie. There we go. I got too much stuff on here. I started pulling some things. I'm making a little goodie bag for Diana um, to try and get started on hers. I think my husband's home. He may come barging in. Love scraps. Wish I had more space. Uh, gotcha. I sort my fabric scraps the same way. Yes. Um, yeah. 
So, let me show y'all real quick my collection of staplers. I have four full-size ones. And at King Dollar, they also had the mini ones. And yes, you can fit a whole thing in there. They all have staples in them for now. Alright, these scraps are not all the same. We're going to make them the same. And trying to find the shortest one so they all end up the same. I do not like this is, I don't even remember what this was called. Four. Yeah, six actually. <laughs> if you count these. It's called. I do not. Y'all, I expect bugs out in the garden. I do not expect flying insects in my craft room. I, the problem is, how I don't have the space for them. I don't have the space for half the stuff that I've got. <laughs> I just cram it all in here. And I didn't even count how many of those I had. Alright, I'm just going to cut those all the same. And I'm not keeping these little pieces. As much as I would hate to get rid of that expensive ribbon. Uh, why? I don't understand why it gets flagged. Okay, all I'm going to do is make some loops with these. And I'm going to use my little tiny attachers. And I'm just going to staple these. And make little loops. I'm just putting it right on the end. Can y'all see? five, six, we'll do seven, I think, maybe. <clears throat> All right, y'all, I thought it'd be cute to use this, but they're just not made right for my hand. Oh, my. Somebody's slamming doors. Okay, I'm just going to staple these together. And then I'm going to do it again here. What time is this? 3.45. That's probably Michael. Let me just use six. And y'all, if I wasn't doing this live and I wasn't trying to use all of my scraps, I would just make this a different way. But, I want to show you a super simple way to just use up your scraps. So I'm going to crisscross that and make an X. And cross that over. And I'm going to put one staple all the way through them. I guess this is more like a flower. That's two staples. And then since it's so thick, I'm going to flip it over and staple it from the other side. Is it perfect? No. Are we going to put something in the middle? Of course we are. What are we going to put in the middle? Bling. Those aren't big enough. I have, let's see. Those bows are too big. That one isn't. I'm not liking that. That one's brown. I need to use these more, but I'm not. I don't understand why. I forget that I have them. That's my problem. Too much stuff, and I forget what I have. Okay. I have another little cart right here that has all of my pieces from, like, 
cut off pieces of chains and things. So I, I wouldn't get rid of that because now I'm going to cut this football off. And I'm going to glue this thing right, right in the middle. Just to cover up those staples. I don't like holding small stuff that has glue on it. Video for oh, thank you. Um, well, we're gonna you know fuss at YouTube. I was looking at the screen and wasn't paying any attention to where I was gluing that. And that is super simple. You know, there's nothing fancy about it. But, let me pull this over here. Put it on the bottom of a chain. You can actually add a little bit of tinsel to the middle of that. Um, you can make it a whole lot fuller with some plain black in the back. So I'm going to set that to the side. <clears throat> And now we're going to do what I call a cheer bow because I've been a competitive cheerleader as a daughter for years and high school cheerleader. And uh, we made lots of cheer bows. <clears throat> One of my best friends is, uh, hi Kay. Um, her daughters wore bows. I mean, they were bigger than the kids' heads. Okay, y'all, I don't measure unless I'm making matching sets or I'm making an order for a bunch of different bows, a bunch of the same bows for, like, a cheer squad. So, I don't measure. I'm like, eh, that looks good. So, if you came here for measurements, you are not at the right place. So, I'll tell y'all how long this is. That's about uh, 17 inches. From here to here and I've got two sets of that and it still has the wire in it so I fold mine in half so what is this 34 inches yeah and then I fold it in half again okay this is this is an easy way for y'all to figure out how to make this chair bow. Open it up. I'm going to turn it towards you. Open it up and you see where the creases are? Cross these two right here. So just make an X with them. So you have your awareness ribbon and then take the seam at the top. It's hard doing this backwards and just tuck it in behind. Take your center and tuck it in behind. Okay? Now you can open these up a little more if you want to. And then I just crease straight down the middle. And then... Before Hyla, I'm going to say, say BH before Hyla, I uh, used wire, I used um, <clears throat> thread, I sewed most of my bows until I watched her and she used chenille stems and I'm like, why haven't I thought of that? <laughs> why haven't I thought of that? So... I've taken a bunch of chenille stems and cut them in half. Wrap them around the front. Now, you can use a silver one to make this sparkle. You can use um, a black one to hide it. I use mostly white because that's what I've got. And um, anyway, so you've got even spaced, evenly sized loops, and your tails should be even.
Now, this is a long, long tail for these bows. You can keep it like that, or you can dovetail it, V-cut it, whatever you want to do. You can make them shorter. <clears throat> I leave these on the back if I'm going to attach this to a homecoming mum, and I staple this to the ribbon. Instead of stapling the bow itself, I staple this. Hey, Deborah, how are you? And now let's cover up that chenille stem in the middle. If you used a silver or um, something flashy, you wouldn't have to cover it up. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. This looks, it's not real girly. So, this came on, it was actually, this is another thing that I got at King Dollar. And so, it, it's four across, and you can cut it however you want to. Let me see how that's going to look. I think that might be a little wide for what I'm looking for. I think I'm just going to put one of these on there. This I bought at um, Monster Spirit. What is it called? It's monsterspirit.com online. Um, the sale place is what it's called. It's up there in North Texas. Move that out of the way, and I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the glue directly on here because y'all I'm notorious about burning myself. Anything small with glue on it is going to attach itself to my fingers. TJ, watch, babe. Why? Thank you, Kay. Now, I would cut these a little bit shorter for, um, to go on a mum, unless this is going to be like an accent where you can put like HHS for the high school, you can put 2022 on here, whatever you want to do. This could be your center for your mum. That is a cheer bow. Now, I've got this left, and I would actually take this and make a smaller one, and without even measuring, I just make a, an awareness ribbon, fold it to where this top part is coming in, and crinkle it up. Hey, babe. <laughs> Do you need me? I'm live. Y'all didn't hear what he said, did you? <laughs> and that is that. That was that quick. Once you get used to it, oh my goodness. You can come in here and say hi to everybody. Oh, alive, to oh yeah, he said he ain't talking to y'all. They're looking down at my table. You can just say hi to everybody. Hello, world. <laughs> they 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 can't see you. Good. <laughs> she in here playing. I'm outside working. Oh, baloney. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's another one. It was that quick. TJ, you can do this. Oh, I'm glad you didn't hear, because he said something that. Um, I knew he was joking, but it really wasn't nice. <laughs> That's our love language. Anyway. All right. Now, let's make a bow tie bow. This is the easiest one ever. So, my school, I, I'm on the school board, so um, sounds like my, yes. And, and I told him, I'm going to be live. He knew this whenever he came in. Um, anyway, bow tie bow. This is great for guys, for garters and stuff. Y'all, I need a drink. Sorry. 
I'm actually not drinking Dr. Pepper today. Y'all would be proud. So figure out how big you want it to be. So if you want it to end up being three inches here, three inches there, find your six inch mark, fold it in half, and cut it. Okay, crease it right here. So you're going to fold that in half, crease it, and then you open it back up. Let me get this out of the way so you can actually see what we're doing. Y'all, I had my table all cleaned off. There was nothing on here. I said, oh, let me do a live. And I had to take everything and just load it up on the table. Uh, so I don't have any room to work. Anyway, all right. Here's the crease. Take your outside piece and overlap it just a little bit. Take the other outside piece and overlap it just a little bit. And if you have fumble fingers, if you can't keep stuff together, uh, just take a staple and hold it right in the middle, okay? And then I do like a W. Fold it in and then fold it out. And that is a simple bow type bow. Tie that up. Now, if you wanted to, you can, since you have a staple in there, since we have similar personalities. <laughs> uh, yeah, y'all. <laughs> anyway, I leave this on until I attach it, and I will staple this to whatever ribbon I'm using, or I will use this to put glue on, twist it up, and stick it down inside the flower so it'll stand up by itself. Um, this might be the point where I would use what I already threw back in the drawer. I, the manly stuff is what I call it. It's probably not politically correct, but um, it, it is what I call it. You can use these on girls or guys. And if you don't want to try to do the cheer bow, let me show you a, a little bit different take on it where you don't have to hold anything together, okay? So, just like on this, figure out how wide you want your bow to be. My wires are hanging out. So if I want my bow to end up being about eight inches wide, I'm gonna double that. So that's where my center fold is gonna be. Okay. And just cut it off of here. Uh, chrome, yes. I thought that whenever I first saw it. Y'all, if y'all, I wish y'all had a King Dollar and TJ, if you ever make the trip to Brenham, it's a really good drive. It's $1.59. This is, you can get the bling like this up there as well. And I think I even bought, nope, that wasn't there. So, anyway. All right. Cheer, Bo. I'm live, Bo. I'm getting fruit. You're getting fruit. Okay. Now. You know what, Hyla, I'll FaceTime you next time I go. You tell me what you want. I'll get it for you and ship it to you. Is it like, I don't know. I've never, where is Texas dollar? So we're going to do the same thing. This is going to be for the loops. Everything, yes, everything's $1.59, I believe. Yes. I don't, I've never been to a Texas dollar. Um. All right. And instead of measuring it out, just use this. No, sir. You bring your container in here and fill it up and just leave it instead of running back and forth. I'm just going to use this to cut the same length. I'm getting about two cups of air. Okay. That's 1.8 to Um, yes. Okay. All right, fold that in half, and these are going to be our tails. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and put a dovetail in the bottom V-cut. Everybody calls it different. To do the V-cut, y'all, see how cockeyed that is? We're going to do that again. <laughs> Too many people are talking to me in person here. All right, so we're going to leave that set to the side. These are the, the loops, so fold it in half crease it. Same thing like we did on the bow tie bow. Take your ends, fold them in. Here's what I, found. I was not talking to you, Siri. Uh, and then take your other side and fold it in. And on this one, go ahead and put a staple right in the middle. You're not even going to know. Okay. What? Yes, that's a cup, son. <laughs> Alright. Take it and just squeeze it up together like normal. Take your middle. Make sure that your pretty side is facing forward. On And then find your middle piece. I'm trying, I'm hoping that I'm explaining this right. And then scrunch it up there. Tie it in the middle with your chenille stem. Give it a twist and you have just about the same look. Now it's not exactly the same. Girl, staple and glue before <laughs> before Hyla, it was staples and glue. Staples, glue, and this fancy thing right here. Anyway, it holds it together, saves your fingers, and let me pull this up. They're not exact, but they're really, really similar. I should have done it with the same type of ribbon, but I didn't think about it. <clears throat> yes, Kay, you can. And if it's easier for you to do laying down, do it with this one. I call these manly ribbons too. TJ, I want you to make a, 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 a bow. So, 8 and 8 is 16. Let me go ahead and cut that. Fold that thing in half. Cut it again. And I'm just crinkling them up together. Leave these two hanging down. Fold those two in the back. That might be harder. Y'all don't do that. <laughs> okay, ignore that one. Anyway, we're going to keep this one. And we're going to do a double bow tie bow. So find your middle. I'm not even sure why either they just have me in tears. Oh, you just got to waste a lot of ribbon, TJ. Use the cheap stuff from Dollar Tree. All right, y'all, these are the same ribbons. Uh, yes, you're good at braids, too. Your live stream notification, really? Okay. Hush. <laughs> no, I'm not getting hate mail. Um, all right. These are two 16-inch pieces of ribbon. I folded them in half because I want two 4-inch loops, one on each side, okay? Same thing. Make your bow tie bow. Crisscross it in the middle. TJ, I want you to make one of these and send me a picture of it. Throw you a staple in there. Open it up, fold it to the middle. And throw you another staple in there. Love you, Mama. Love you too, Bubba. 
All right. TJ, if you loved me. So, I'm just going to scrunch this one up. And, y'all, you don't even have to hold it. You don't have to hold it. I'm telling you. Put a staple in that sucker. Just make sure you get it in the middle. Do the same thing here. You really don't have to tie it with a chenille stem. This is how I made bows for the longest time. Staple right in the middle. Okay. And then, that piece was sticking up, but I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm going to make sure my folds are both on the back side. I'm going to put a little dot of glue right here. Right above where I stapled. After I put a little dot of glue in here because that part wasn't staying down. And then I'm just going to pinch them together in the middle. Okay. Fluff up your loops. And you can actually add a tail onto this if you wanted to. Um, this will stay together. I am going to put this on there finally. <laughs> I'm going to start in the back though and just put a little glue. And move it over because I didn't line it up right. And I'm not even going to put any glue on the front. There's no need. Pulling it around. Get that ugly thing out of the way. Put some more glue right here. Y'all, I'm not used to sitting down doing any of this stuff. <laughs> I work standing up. The only thing <clears throat> I... Um, sit down to do is decorate cookies because it would break my neck if I didn't. Alright. Is it perfect? No. Is it good enough? Yeah. Would somebody pay for it and love it on their mom? Yes. Put a clip on the back of this and call it a hair bow. Hell, put a clip. Oh, sorry, y'all. <laughs> um, Put a clip on the back and clip it onto the mum somewhere and sell it as an add-on, guys. I have done that um, several times where I'd actually made bows that you can um, clip into the kid's hair. So, I mean, I would do one that was sparklier. I'm just using this as an example, but there you go. Now, I, I don't know how I came up with how to do this next one. It, I just did. And I'm going to use a ribbon that is not wired. Uh, for no other reason but that I don't want to. I need to go with a different color. So, I'm putting together some goodies for Diane. And... Uh, they're green, they're mar what, what color are they? Bologna, orange, blue, white, silver. Um, this is a printed grow grain ribbon, it's, that stuff is plasticky. So, um, and this we have a uh, I have an account with Southern Floral, it's a company in downtown Houston where um, they, they have a lot of mum stuff. Some of it's expensive, but you, you got to get it at the very beginning, or else you, you get nothing. Um, but this, I got $20 bags. It does look like Whataburger, doesn't it? Never thought about that. Um, <clears throat> and it is Whataburger. Anybody that's not from Texas, it's not Whataburger. It's Whataburger. Thank you. Um, <laughs> anyway, they had these big, like, 8 or 10 gallon bags. I'm like the tall. I'm I'm sitting down and probably about 4 foot tall and 2 foot wide and 
two foot square bags that are four foot tall just full of ribbon and mum stuff for 20 bucks and y'all I bought five of those suckers <laughs> and that's how I got a quarter of the ribbon that I own right now now some of it I don't use very much this one I've never used I, I, I this ended up costing me maybe a nickel uh, but it's coming in handy now <laughs> coming in handy now dang it I'm using it um all right so I make a bow around my hand and I'm trying to figure out the best way to show everybody's hand is different it's gonna come out a different size and I need to do it this way or else I'll get screwed up so I lay it over my hand and then I wrap it around and I put them side by side okay Now, you could stop right there, or you can make another loop, but you want to have your ending on the opposite side of your beginning, okay? So, here, and I'm going to cut it here. Most of the time on these, I will sew them because that's just how I started doing them, and that's how I continue to do them. But, <laughs> don't ask me why I wrap them around my hand. Um, I just do. So, I even these up here and I even these up here. Don't worry about the size of your tails. I'm trying to show that to y'all. You see how the back is? And then I'm going to kind of fold it over just to make sure that I've got that even. And then I'm going to start pinching. and gather up the sides. I said simple. This one's not simple. It's simple in my brain because I've done it for years. And then chenille stem in the middle. Give me just a minute and I'll show y'all. This ribbon is thick, thick, thick. open it back up so you have a tail coming on the top and a tail on the bottom and I just dovetail those wrong way I have so many times dovetailed the wrong way and then I'm gonna take a lighter and just singe these you don't want to get too close because there is plastic in there and that just keeps it from fraying. No idea what this is called. Dang it, I did it again. I don't like it when one of my points is longer than the other. It doesn't look right. Okay. Singe it. And there it is. That is the most difficult bow. Yes. Is, is, it, is there a name for it? Because I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <clears throat> it works really well with a, a lot thinner ribbon. So, um, yeah. I'm going to be real honest with y'all. This bow... And the bow tie bow, where did I even throw it, are the ones that I use the most. Right here. That's what you use for, oh, okay. I've also seen, Hila, I'm going to use the same one, do the, um, just the single, where it just has one loop on each side. This is the one I've seen you do, where you got one loop on each side. I don't think I've ever seen the double loop. 
Y'all, this one's way easier than, <laughs> than the double one with this ribbon. This ribbon is thick. Pinwheel bow. Okay. That's difficult bow. Yes. <laughs> yes, TJ, it is. Um, I need to pull out of my drawer what I used to use to hold these together um, whenever I sewed them because um, it's just hard to hold them together. That ain't even even. Well, hell. Keep cutting till they're shorter. That Hyla makes these and puts on hers. Um, I don't really put these on mine. I might start because that was simple. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't use this grow grain ribbon very much uh, for these kind of bows. Oh, this little, this um, just two loop one. Yeah, they're super cute. And this one is a pain in the butt to keep it. Y'all excuse my language, sorry. It's a pain to keep it together with that thickness. Okay, so let me pull out the deco mesh ribbon. And that's what I, I call it. She calls it, what do you call it? The flat tubing? Um, I make bows with these all the time. Let me use the green because you can see it a little bit better on this blue. There we go. And for some reason, this green is way wider. I don't know why. I may have bought this from Monster Spirit. It's way wider than what you get at King Dollar. And you can actually use both of these. <clears throat> so I do the same thing. And um, I, a lot of times I don't even measure it out, y'all. I just cut me a... Yeah, that looks good. Uh, flat tubing makes sense to me. <laughs> Not a lot makes sense to me, so I did not measure that out. When you get it in your hand, you can fold it up, make sure the loops line up. And you can do the same thing. A lot of times I'll do a double like this. I'm still using the white. Y'all hear my chair talking? I use these a lot in mum heads because it doesn't completely cover up. Uh, oh, thank you. Um, it doesn't completely hide the, um, and of course I would make it smaller. That's a pretty big bow to go in there. I was just showing y'all that for um, reference. They do make really cute bows. Um, but it doesn't hide the flower you can actually it it pops off of there it's shiny and the flower actually um, comes through the color of it y'all I'm stuck on this bow that other one was too hard and I want to make one that's not <laughs> my hands are begging me for some relief these make really cute bows As long as you keep the daggum loop separated, I'll separate them out in a minute. And then I've got one more that I want to make, and I'm going to sew it. Y'all don't get mad at me. This one I would actually probably cut off these tails because you can't see them. For some reason, that one went inside. There we go. And then take something and put in front of that. Um, Hyla got me using a bunch of tinsel. The um, I get all my tinsel from Dollar Tree, 
they started selling the tinsel like this. Uh, flat tubing and the regular tubing for bows on gifts. I don't wrap gifts. like <laughs> They're lucky to get it wrapped. Um, so this is, this is how they sell this at the Dollar Tree. Okay, this is the exact same thing, but it came off of one of those ugly Christmas trees. Okay, but they're, they're trying to make this nice for us. That will, will hold its shape a little bit, but this is really, really stiff. There is a difference in it. If you need it to, if you need it to hold your loops, it's not like you're, you know, making bows with this. You're just making tinsel puffs. But if you need it to hold your loops better, this one, the one that you take off the tree, works a whole lot better. This will work just for going in the middle of stuff. Where's all my things? There they are. Um, but I like this straight off the tree a whole lot better. And yeah, she's got me using these things. And I'm just going to use that same twist tie and attach that right to the middle of this. Just to give it a little bit of bling in there. And if I wanted to, you know, go a little bit bigger, pop this black one on top of this green one. Stack your base bows. Make a bunch of simple ones, y'all, and just stack them together. Okay. Let me see what this looks like on top of this. Can't really see that back ribbon too much, but it gives it a little something. Yes, tinsel. Tinsel, tinsel, tinsel. <clears throat> I'm going to look in the drawer real quick to see if I've got what I'm talking about. Yes. Hair clippies. Thank you, Kay. Deborah, what did Deborah say? Gotta love that tinsel. Yes. And I didn't love it until Hyla showed us how to love it. So we gotta thank Hyla for that. This is what I use to hold ribbon in place. And you can sew the ribbon in there. So if you had a loop, let me do one of my difficult bows here. Pinwheel bows. Thank you. Now I can have a name to cuss while I'm making it. And then just take this and put it straight down the middle of it. And it holds it together for you. And I'm wondering if we can do, a long chenille stem. Y'all, it's been a while since I have used these. So they're, they're a little bit loose. And maybe pull it together. Oh, that might be working a little bit. I think it's going to come out cockeyed. Yeah. It came out crooked. But the idea is there. Now, I'm going to make what I call a funky loop bow. And then that is going to be it because I have to check the oven. That's why it took me so long getting back on here. My mom um, is on oxygen. I don't know uh, if y'all know. Uh, about a year ago, we almost lost her. Um, part of her bowel died. And then about a week after she got out of the hospital, she went to congestive heart failure. She has COPD. And she's on oxygen. Well, I finally got her moved down here um, to where I could be closer to her to help take care of her. And um, she can't be up too awful much. I made it work. That's good enough. 
she can't be up without her oxygen very much. Um, she lives in a, a travel trailer that is, well, it's a one bedroom. It's, it's set up like a house. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, it's a gas stove. And if anybody knows anything about oxygen, you cannot have it by open flame. So she can't really cook. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway. Hey, good. Yes, you are rhyming. You go, girl. Um, so I'm trying to cook a bunch of stuff for her. I can't drive out there every day. It's not that far. It's just I, I have a schedule. <laughs> And I'm trying to get stuff to where she can just pop stuff in the microwave or she can just put some water on the boil where she doesn't have to stand by the stove. Anyway, I made meatloaf. I'm grilling chicken breasts. Um, she likes hamburger steak, so I'm doing that good only part of the time, Hotla. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's what I'm doing. I had to take her uh, chicken breast out of the oven right after Hyla got done. I didn't want to miss anything. I'm like, good lord, I hope I don't dry these things out. Um, there's a meatloaf in there right now, and I'm smelling it. It smells really good. Okay, this is the last one, y'all. I call this my funky loop bow, and I made tons of hair bows using this, but I've also put it on mums. So, this is an upholstery needle. Um, you don't have to have one this long. It's really handy. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> um, this is really handy. I've threaded it with um, just a really heavy duty upholstery thread. Use whatever thread you got, guys. It came like this. Thank you, Kay. Um, and you see all the holes in this thing? I've used this a ton. Y'all, I'm lying. I said I, that was it. I said this was the last one. I'm doing one more. And it's super quick. Um, maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Because I can't find the ribbon that I want. I know I have the ribbon for this funky loop bow. I can do it with these. So, Diana's colors right here. So they're orange and blue and silver. I think I'm going to use this one. This is another one that came in that big multi-pack. This is how you can use the small ribbons that you have. What a burger now meatloaf. I'm hungry. <laughs> and I'm not. That's the funny thing. I'm a pretty big girl, y'all. And you would think all I do is eat all day, but I really don't. I eat like one time a day. <laughs> We did Weight Watchers, and I went in there. I'm like, dude, I don't know what's wrong. I eat one time a day. And he's like, you're starving yourself fat. I don't eat enough. Um, and I'm certainly not eating the right stuff. Because, you know, I go from coffee to Dr. Pepper. <laughs> um, so, I am going to use all these small ribbons. These, are, these can be used in a lot of different places. Um, but I know I end up, I buy a lot of this stuff. And I don't end up using it as much as I should. So, um, where's the end? These are brand new. <laughs> and I don't remember if I finished what I was saying. This came out of that, that grab bag from Southern Floral. So, I am going to cut these. I want to end up with like a three inch little poop. So, I'm going to cut these at six inches. And let's try, I have my little Dollar Tree rotary cutter. And how do you open this thing? Oh, you got to pull it back, I think. There we go. I'm going to try that, see if that works. Probably not going to want to deal with it. Um, yeah, but we'll try. I said I was trying the rotary cutter. Oh, y'all, cut right through. Okay. So, I'm just going to cut a bunch of these at six inches. Here's another way to use your scrap. That's nice. That's even better than my other rotary cutter. It'll cut through two at a time. It did. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try three. And these don't have to be exactly the same size either. In fact, it makes it look pretty cool if you, you know, mix and match some different sizes. Y'all, it's cut through three ribbons so far. Let's try four. I mean, it's cutting like butter. Now, I'm sure once it gets dull, it's done. I've never used the one from Dollar Tree. I love, I have a big Fisker rotary cutter. Y'all, it cut through four ribbons. Okie doke. That's too much of a pain in the behind to keep them all together like that. <clears throat> I'm probably cutting way too many. Do a couple more cuts. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah, if you have any small scrap like this, save them, throw them into a bucket. You're going to end up not completely folding them in half, and this probably works a whole lot better with um, satin ribbon instead of your mum ribbon. And the ends really don't count. They don't matter. You just want to have them the same length. One more, and we'll call it done. And I'm not even being nice with that cut. I'm really impressed with that, y'all. Really impressed. Now, put it up when I was done. I'm more impressed with that. <clears throat> yes, it is. And I... I found it. I was taking. I was taking mom to her cardiologist, and <laughs> she had to sit in the truck. It was raining. There was air conditioner on, and um, she was just fine. I'm like, but mom, I'm looking for something. I need to go into this Dollar Tree. Y'all was on the other side of town, and I made her <laughs> wait on me. And I went into this Dollar Tree and I found all kinds of stuff. Alright y'all, I'm separating these out. I'm probably not going to use all of these. And this will go in my scrap box. I'm going to have to make a little scrap drawer for the blue now. No, I'm not. I'm going to send it to Diana. Let Diana have a blue scrap box. Because we all need to feel like we've got extra. almost done because I have to have them lined up because I got to go in order. <laughs> Me too what, Robin? Y'all, I cut way too many. <laughs> and I probably don't have the same amount of each one. I probably have way more of this orange. Almost there, y'all. But this is what I do when I make these. I'm just saying. Okay. I am going to move this silver back here and then I'm going to put the orange in here so I can get my, my order. Fold it in half, pop it on the end. Take the next color, fold it in half. Oh yes, 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 yes. If I can line it up, you just want to get it even. fold it in half, pop it on the end, and I'm just, whichever way they end up falling down, that's where I'm leaving them. It'll all change up in a minute. Popping it on. I should have looked in my scrap ribbon to see if I had any silver or white to put in here, but I did not. Y'all, you could actually make, sitting here looking at this, you could actually make a mum head. Yes, they do. That's how I started making them, Hyla. They do make cute hair bows. You could actually make a mum head with these if you wanted to take the time. Like for a mini mum, this would be super cute. Just add a lot more on here. Um, it's an upholstery needle. It's just, it's about... 
I'll tell you how. I think it's like five inches long. And I think I got two of them in a pack for a couple of bucks. Y'all, I'm standing up. Sorry. I can't do this no more. I, I thought so. I, I, I've never done it. I need to, you know, try to remember some of this stuff. Y'all remind me. Because uh, this would make a really cute mum head. Even if you're just using all one color. Even if you just use white. You have a bunch of the cheapo white ribbon, the thin stuff. Put it all together. I need a silver over here. I'm kind of looking at it now, seeing where everything's laying, and kind of, if I need a, a solid blue over here, I'll throw it on there. But mostly now I have it separated out, and I can just pop it wherever I want to. I'm almost out of some of these ribbons, and I'm not going to cut anymore. I think I have two of these blue left so I only have two more rows of this TJ this would be one for you to try because this is not difficult at all and like I said you don't have to have this big huge long needle you can get a regular sewing needle. I'm going to go ahead and go up to there with what I got left. Almost done, y'all. I actually like that orange on here. It kind of pops out a little bit. <clears throat> um, sounds like you need to do another live with that. I, oh, yes. Uh, look at all those homecoming rows. Yes, so I pulled those out, you know, trying to look all fancy and stuff. But you know I didn't make none of those, right? <laughs> I thought I was going to show y'all how to attach some of these to the braids, but I got myself distracted. I buy a lot of my um, braids except for the ones that you can't buy. Um, like a lot of the ones that Hyla teaches us how to do, uh, besides like the military braid, you can buy that. Bubblegum chain, you can definitely buy that. Um, but, y'all, I'm just gonna throw all the rest of these on here because there ain't no need in having this. I'm almost done with it anyway. You know what, whenever I send this to Diana, I'm going to tell her she can use this as her mum flower. Because whenever I was telling her I was going to send her stuff, I told her I didn't have really any flowers to send. Alright, these are attached on here. That's what it looks like. Um, you can move these around. I know there's more orange and stuff right in here right now. Don't worry about that. So, I'm going to pull this up. It's all stuck on the needle. Um, I doubled this. I always double and made it way too long than anybody needs. Tied a knot on the end. And then I'm just going to pull this all the way up through. Um, yes, okay, maybe. If I can, I'm pulling this through, y'all. There we go. To where the knot is on. And then I'm just going to go straight down in. Now, this part is not easy because you're going through a ton of ribbon. But it'll work, I promise. Probably should have ran it through my hair like my grandma taught me. But my hair is clean today. <laughs> and this is going to somebody else. So, there. Straight up through the bottom. And that is all you need to do. I am going to tie it off on the back. 
was going through a couple of these. Y'all, I love this needle. If you do any kind of any of this and you need a needle, these are what am I even trying to say? They're awesome. And then whenever I get done with this, I'm going to put a touch of hot glue over that because this is thick ribbon. Not thick ribbon. Thick string. Turn me loose. And just put a little bit of glue on the back of this. Now, you could turn this into a hair bow by putting a piece of felt on the back and I might go ahead and do that right now anyway after I make sure the front is good shake it out and it looks just like it did on the on the needle okay this is where you would put a nice big charm like, I think this is a cupcake topper. I was showing it to my iPad, y'all. Um, cupcake toppers. How cute would that be as a mum flower? I think that would be really, really cute. And y'all don't overlook your, um, this is a Christmas ornament. <laughs> You can really either cut that off or hide that sucker inside your flower. I wish I had a trinket over here. I might have one. Let me see. Or not. A little star in the middle. Um, cool, I have an after work project this evening. Yes, girl, yes. So, that one is done. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the back because I'm going to send this to her. Just to cover that up. And to make this into a hair bow. Do I have my clips up here? Yes, I do. I would take a little bit of ribbon and put it on here. Um, that's a different thing. That's a different video. And just attach it to the back. Put a little bit of bling in the middle. Puff that up. That is super cute. I love this one. Thank you, Deborah. So, okay. I think I'm going to be done. Um, I need to go outside. Let me tilt y'all up a minute. Ooh. Sorry, I reach it way across the table. And now I gotta put all this stuff up. <laughs> Dang it. Um anyway, so I hope you got something out of this. TJ, you need to make a bow, honey. You really, really do. <laughs> you need to make some bows. You can do a couple of these. They're super simple. So, um, I'm filmed a video today. I don't know if any of y'all are into... Thank you. Thank y'all. Um, I don't know if any of y'all are into gardening, but um, how I even mentioned you in the video that I made today, it's all about basil and propagating it and everything else. So, um, I'm going to try and get that up in the next day or so. I don't want to overload y'all because y'all get used to uh, <laughs> once a month videos, maybe. Um, whenever I get a chance... Anyway, I hope y'all got something out of this. I hope you learned something. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you so much, Hyla and Deborah and Robin and Kay. And I think this is the most people I've had on my live, and there's six of y'all. Goals, y'all. Goals. All right. Thank y'all so much, and I'll talk to y'all later. If I can figure out how to shut this thing off, I always have a problem with that. <laughs>